With the release of the ESS M11 Plus DAP, FIO is doing something very much cool that other companies are not following suit at the moment. And that is the fact that they take their very popular DAPs or, or even AMPs or any popular product they've already released in the past and just remake it and just put a new chipset inside a new dark chip inside and i think there's a very cool strategy the reason i say there is a cool strategy is because the m11 dap has always been their most popular selling dap since the, the, since ever they started releasing daps in general that particular dap model has been very very popular and rightfully so it's popular just because of the build and the sonic capability now the original uh m11 plus that was released last year came with an akm uh 4497 chipset and when it did come with that it was uh quickly discontinued because of the problem akm had uh, a year ago and that's the fact that their factory was burnt burnt down and they've never been able to recover from that and uh, that has been a problem a huge problem for the company they've continued to not really come uh, recover from that problem and they've uh, they, they've been trying they've been trying but it, it's you know it's hard when you lose millions of dollars worth of products uh through fire outbreak so it, it has been a problem for the brand in general so now they've released the ess model they released it last month i've announced it uh but the thing here is the fact that uh when they released it you know they didn't specify a way for people to differentiate because um, a lot of people would go straight and go make an order for uh an m11 plus so if you want to buy the m11 plus that has the ess version you have to search for m11 plus e ESS uh, because that's the only way you will know that it is an ESS product uh, because Fio still has uh, even though they've discontinued the the AKM version the AKM still is on the market and uh, some people might make a, a mistake to be uh, buying that model because the the, the problem is support uh, if that one goes bad there is a chance you might not get the support that you need I'm not saying that uh, Fio won't support uh, their products but there is that chance that they might not support that AKM model. Uh, the new M11 Plus ESS is coming with uh, two high performing ESS 9068 chipsets inside. And uh, they've even improved the power output and uh, they've improved the signal to noise ratio on this model to be a little bit better. Uh, and um, it also has MQA rendering uh, in its uh, USB DAC mode. Uh, it supports high res audio uh, to, to, to the best that it can deliver. It is a THX uh, amplifier that is in there. So you get very 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 clean sound uh the cpu inside is the snapdragon 660 um it's beautiful in its design and it even has an improved battery life power is very big on this one it's big on this one uh you have 210 milliwatts into 32 ohms uh into 32 ohms uh you, if you go balance it to do 660 milliwatts into 32 ohms uh, signal to noise ratio is 122 decibels uh you get it four gigs ram four gigs ram uh, and uh, 64 gigs in uh storage so it, this is a very well placed uh product because they, it's continuing the very successful m11 plus um model that has been successful and you don't need to run out to um to go buy another dap just simply because you don't have a replacement so this is very very cool this is very very cool uh this is very very cool uh I, i'm enjoying uh, i'm enjoying this new release from uh, fio uh, fio really knows how to take care of their customers especially when they know uh, their customers need a new product to 
to replace their previous model uh they they are doing a very good job in giving you that so that is it i will leave a link to this specific ess model in the description if you want to buy it subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time